All right, let's just jump right in. If you've ever set up a Proxmox home lab, I'm willing to bet you've hit this exact wall. You want to run Docker, but where? Do you go for that super lightweight, zippy LXC container? Or do you play it safe with a full-blown VM that's, you know, a bit heavier on resources? This whole debate has been raging in forums for, like, ever. And really, this is the core of it, isn't it? Is this super popular resource-saving setup actually a ticking time bomb just waiting to nuke your entire server? Now, this isn't some theoretical question. It's one the community has figured out through real-world experience, sometimes the hard way. So let's really dig into what they've learned. Okay, first up, let's talk about why this whole setup is so, well, so tempting. The case for running Docker inside an LXC basically boils down to one incredibly powerful idea, pure, unfiltered efficiency. They're fast, they're lean, and man, they give you a ton of control. And this quote just nails the mindset perfectly. For so many people, it's all about keeping things simple and organized, right? Instead of one massive VM juggling dozens of services, you can have these neat, tidy little containers, each doing its own one thing. It's clean, it feels logical, it feels like the right way to manage a complex server. So the main point is, it really feels like you're getting the best of both worlds. You've got the lightning fast, low overhead benefits of LXC. I mean, they boot up in seconds and just sip ram. And at the same time, you get to stick with the familiar Docker and Docker Compose workflow you already know. On paper, it looks like the perfect, most efficient solution. But as we're about to see, that efficiency can come with a pretty steep hidden cost. So now let's flip the coin and look at the other side of the argument. Because you know, for every story of a perfect Docker in LXC setup, there's a cautionary tale waiting in the wings. This is where that lean efficiency can suddenly become a massive weakness and where one tiny problem can snowball into a catastrophe. And that, that right there is the nightmare scenario everyone's afraid of. A single rogue Docker container doesn't just crash itself, nope, it causes a kernel panic. And boom, your entire Proxmox host goes down. We're talking everything, all your other containers, your VMs, the whole shebang. Why? Because all XCs share the host's kernel. There's literally no safety net between them. And the risks don't even stop there. You're basically stacking two different container technologies on top of each other, which means you could be stacking their security flaws too. Plus, you get into these practical headaches, trying to pass through a GPU for, say, an AI workload or just mounting an NFS share, it can turn into a huge configuration mess that just plain doesn't happen with a VM. This is exactly why so many people with a lot of experience just end up using VMs. See, a virtual machine has its own kernel, and that gives you this powerful wall of isolation. If Docker has a meltdown inside a VM, guess what? Only the VM crashes. The rest of your server just keeps chugging along. It's safer, it's more stable, and things are just more likely to work out of the box. And hey, as a nice little bonus, VM backups are usually way more efficient because they can use features like dirty bitmaps to only back up the little bits that have actually changed. So it sounds like a pretty clear cut choice, right? Efficiency versus stability. But in the real world, it's way more nuanced than that. The actual risk you're taking on really depends on how you set up your LXC. And a lot of clever folks are finding ways to kind of get the best of both worlds. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. It all comes down to this fundamental trade-off. You can run a privileged LXC that makes Docker happy, it gets better access to hardware like GPUs, but you're basically punching a giant security hole straight through to your host. The other option is an unprivileged container, which is way, way safer, but the catch is a lot of Docker containers just flat out refuse to run in that kind of lockdown environment. It's a direct choice between convenience and security. So because of that tricky trade-off, this sort of hybrid approach has become the unofficial standard for a lot of people. The community consensus isn't really about picking LXC or VM for everything. It's about using the right tool for the right job and strategically deciding which of your services belong where based on how important they are. And this table here, showing real-world setups, really brings that idea to life. You've got someone doing AI stuff who puts Docker in a VM. Why? for stable, no headache GPU access. Then you have someone with a low power server who goes all in on individual LXCs just to squeeze out every last megabyte of RAM. And others, well, they just toss all their non-essential Docker apps into one LXC because it's simple and they're willing to accept that risk. So after all that, where do we land? We've looked at the appeal of efficiency, 
we've heard the horror stories, and we've explored that nuanced middle ground. What's the final verdict on running Docker inside an LXC? Let's circle all the way back to that first big question. Is Docker in an LXC a ticking time bomb? And the answer is, well, not exactly. It's probably better to think of it like a really delicate, high-performance machine. It's not guaranteed to break, but it's definitely more fragile than the alternative. That risk of a total host failure, it's real. But it's a risk you can manage if you go in with your eyes open. You know, maybe the best way to think about it is with a game of Jenga. Running Docker in an LXC lets you build this incredibly tall, super efficient tower. But because everything is balanced on that one shared kernel, one single bad move, a faulty update, a weird container config, could be the one block that sends the entire thing crashing down. So what's the bottom line here? Look, for your internal, non-critical stuff, you know, things where you can handle a bit of downtime, like a media server or some dev tools, Docker and an LXC, yeah, it's a totally fine, super efficient choice. But for anything critical, anything facing the big bad internet, or honestly, if you just want to sleep at night, putting Docker and a VM is for sure the smarter, safer play. And listen, no matter which path you take, please, please remember, regular snapshots and solid backups are your real safety net. They are absolutely 100% non-negotiable. At the end of the day, the choice really comes down to your personal comfort level with risk versus your need for raw efficiency. There isn't a single right answer for everybody. There's only the right answer for your lab and your needs. So now that you know the trade-offs, how are you going to build your stack?